In a previous video last July, I shared my review on the AIMA T9, which received mixed feedback from the internet due to issues like a peculiar clicking noise and some erratic behavior. Fortunately, my unit functioned fairly well. Fast forward to today, AIMA has introduced the T9 Pro, an upgraded version of their previous model. The company representative has assured me that all of those initial concerns have been addressed and resolved. Join me as we explore the T9 Pro, compare it to its predecessor, and determine whether it truly lives up to its pro title by fixing those past issues. Whether you're new to mic on audio or are part of the family, if you enjoy the video, please slap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to get notified every time a fresh new video is born. Let's get to it. The first thing you'll notice straight away with the new model is that they changed the tubes. They are now 5725Ws. This isn't anything groundbreaking since most Tri-Fi components that integrate tubes into their design go with this model tubes. There's a definite appeal for companies to incorporate vacuum tubes in their products. These tubes offer a nostalgic charm with their warm glow and slightly distorted sound signature, which many perceive as warmth. The market seems to favor these features in affordable compact units like these. Additionally, the manufacturing costs for vacuum tubes in China are really low. As a result, these brands can leverage the allure of vacuum tubes to subtly alter the sound signature and provide consumers with a nostalgic experience, all without investing heavily in sophisticated design engineering. Unfortunately, the tone control knobs have been removed, which were quite handy for adjusting tones in desktop applications. The tone controls can now be adjusted via their remote control and will be displayed on the display screen. If you are like me, I will probably lose the remote within a week. They did label the power button, which was a bit helpful instead of having to figure out how to turn it on with its predecessor. They added a display screen, which I think was a nice aesthetic touch as well as added these orangey copper looking rings around both the display screen and the BU meter. The new iteration of the AIMA T9 Pro is undoubtedly an enhancement over its predecessor, possessing an impressive and visually appealing design. Mechanically, the T9 Pro has addressed the annoying clicking noise that troubled the original T9, which is a significant improvement. The rear of the unit features a Bluetooth antenna, auxiliary output, analog RCA inputs, digital coax, optical and USB inputs, as well as a pair of speaker binding posts. The device requires an 18 to 32 volt power supply. Now, this unit offers an ES9018 K2M DAC chip, which is actually very decent, making this a great solution for those of you going from PC via the provided USB cable to the unit. So overall, I feel like they did improve the aesthetics and fix the functionality a bit from the original. My favorite question always is, how did it sound? Let's find out. In terms of sound quality, the AIMA T9 Pro is quite similar to its predecessor. I tested it using Klipsch RP600M2 speakers and connected my Lingdorf CD player via both coax and RCA to compare the onboard DAC with the CD player's output stage. Totally overkill for this particular amp, but I wanted the best possible source that I had on hand. The first thing I noticed was that the mid-range seemed slightly forward with the onboard DAC. Not fatiguing or unpleasant, but certainly noticeable. The treble had decent detail and the bass was present, making for an acceptable overall presentation. When I connected the RCAs, there was a minor improvement, but the changes were subtle and hardly significant. It appears that we've kind of reached the amp ceiling in terms of sound quality. I tried swapping the tubes for a pair of mullards, which slightly expanded the soundstage, but not enough to make 
you know, a considerable difference in the overall sonic performance. A few factors could be contributing to the slightly tinny mid-range sound that I didn't experience with other amps paired with these speakers. My primary suspicion is that the power supply is noisy, generating unwanted harmonics that detract from the amp's performance. Unfortunately, I don't have a clean PSU with the required voltage to test against it. However, in my experience with similar products, ugh, when something doesn't sound smooth and pleasant, the power supply is often the main culprit. The AIMA T9 Pro remains true to its roots as a you know, fun and functional little desktop amp, suitable for powering modest speakers without expecting a high-end sonic experience. I think that's the perfect candidate for this unit, someone wanting, you know, quick and easy, plug and play experience. If you are powering small bookshelf speakers, this would pair great with them. It would be misleading to label it the amp of the year, as many of you are seeking trustworthy reviews to make informed purchase decisions. For those on a tight budget and in need of a low cost solution, the T9 Pro's $129 price tag makes it a viable option among the ocean of affordable Chinese offerings on Amazon. However, 129 bucks is 129 bucks, especially in these times when money is in high demand. If you're aiming for a higher quality sound system and have budget constraints, you know, this may not be the right product or moment to invest. Ultimately, my goal is to help you achieve the best possible listening experience within your means. So if you have any questions about pairing or anything else, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I do try my best to answer most of your questions. Look, you know, I didn't have an issue with this amp, you know? I think it's fine for what it is. Probably one of the better ones in the category, you know, and it's ilk. What I take issue with is when people misrepresent products for what they actually are. Well, I hope this review helped, and if it did, I would enjoy if you Van Dam kicked the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to get notified every time a fresh new video is born. With all that said and done, I'll see you on the next one.